Well, let's be honest about it. In the first, in the First Amendment, religious freedom, religion, religious expression, I really express matters of the Constitution. So, if the Muslims own that property, that private property, and they want to build a mosque there, they should have a right to do so. The only question is, are they being insensitive to the people who who suffered from the loss of loved ones? We know there were Muslims killed on 9-11 too, and we know it's a great religion. Uh, I know a lot of Muslim people who I have very high regard for. Not the least of them is Muhammad Ali. Uh, he's a great friend of mine. But as far as their right to build that mosque, they have that right. The question is, should they? Is it, a, is it un insensitive not to in the eyes of the majority of New Yorkers? And ultimately, it's going to come down to New York and what New York decides to do. I wonder what your thoughts are, because you are such a legal scholar and a religious liberties uh, you know, proponent. And so, uh, so I wonder just what you've been thinking as you've been watching the debate. Well, I think the debate can be demagogued on both sides. I, you know, I, I have a tendency when it comes to religious liberty issues to always uphold the, the rights of legitimate churches, of legitimate religious groups to be able to meet and, and build their mosques or their chapels or their, their cathedrals uh, on property that they own. And uh, I will fight for their right to do that. I fought for the Jewish people's right to where they own the place. And, and uh, I just think what's made this country great is we have religious freedom. And it's not the only thing, but it's one of the most important things in the Constitution. It's the First Amendment to the Constitution. And the Constitution would not have passed without the Bill of Rights, and that First Amendment was really a very, very important part of the Bill of Rights. Do you feel like there's a particular sensitivity to that with uh, having L LDS roots here yourself? And well, sure. I remember when uh, the Belmont Massachusetts Temple was going up, and a whole raft of other issues, too, that I've worked on. Uh, the local people got up in arms. They didn't want a Mormon church there to begin with, but they couldn't stop that. But then they tried to stop the steeple with the Andrew Moroni, which is a classic uh, uh, approach that the LDS church uh, takes towards temples. And uh, I had to work that out. And uh, I think my good friend, Senator Kennedy, helped me on that one. I went to him, I said, what? I, I actually did not use really good language. I said, what the heck are you, you dumbbells up there in <laughs> Massachusetts doing? And, and he said, what do, you mean, what do you mean? I said, well, they won't even let us put our st uh, steeple on our temple and with the angel Moroni on it. And so he, he said, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> so, so later, uh, he was talking about uh, religious freedom. He says, yeah, I got Hatch to get the, uh, I helped Hatch get the uh, steeple on the Mormon temple with the angel Nephi on there. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big kick out of that. That's great. Well, how, how did he even know but the there, name Nephi? That yeah, was pretty good. That's right. <laughs> well, yeah, let me tell you, we had some chats. But uh, let me tell you, there, there have been zoning issues for religions all over the country. And some religions have been treated very shabbily. So I passed a religious, uh, what's called Rogupa, which is a religi re religious liberty, uh, zoning and, and land use, uh, religious land use and zoning bill. Passed that in two weeks through both houses of Congress unanimously. I, we actually shamed some of them into admitting that religion should not be treated this way. And, uh, and the vast majority, of course, wanted to make sure that we have religious freedom and that we support religious freedom in this country, both Democrats and Republicans, which pleased me. Uh, this problem in New York is a big problem that New York has to solve. Uh, but they do have a right to build it. And, you know, there's a question whether it's too close to the 9-11 uh, you know, area. But it's a few blocks away. It isn't right there. And frankly, uh, you know, there are a lot of people who feel, including the mayor of New York, that they should have every right to do it and New Yorkers should support them. There are others who have suffered the loss of loved ones. Some of the people who support them have suffered loss of loved ones, but there are others who have suffered the loss of loved ones, and there's a huge, uh, a huge, uh, I think, lack of support throughout the country uh, for the uh, for Islam to build that mosque there. But that should not make that should not make the difference if uh, they decide to do it. And I'd be the first to stand up for their rights.